YouTube, what's good? It's Mr. Mini Weather. It's been a minute since I posted. This is my first video of the year, and it's crazy. So much, uh, so many different things have transpired since the last time I made a video. I'm now in a suite. Um, it's it's a whole new year. Coronavirus is here, and I bought a house. I'm sitting outside of my new house right now, and that was really the reason. But for my hold, I put a lot of things on hold so I could work and I made a lot of extra money and I put a lot of time into just cutting hair and not really recording. With that being said, I'm back, I'm in the house, we on lockdown, I'm not cutting no hair and I'm bored out of my mind. I have my room that I have set up, which is gonna be like my, my YouTube editing room. But right now I'm about to head out to the suite where I work and I'm about to grab my stuff and I'm going to be cutting from the house. Now, I'm not cutting customers. I'm not cutting neighbors or anything like that, but I'm going to make sure my kids look right because they've been beat up. And I've been here for almost uh, about three weeks now and I haven't cut their hair and they probably hadn't had a haircut and probably a month and a half easily, you know, so I'm going to go grab my stuff and we're going to come back and we're going to finish hooking this room up. Um, it's a lot of stuff in the room. It was really supposed to be done, but I've been putting it off. And so I'm going to go ahead and take care of business. I'll do a video of me, me and my son. We'll, we'll get the room set up. So I moved right down the street from the shop where I work. I'm probably eight to nine minutes away, maybe 10, 10, 11 minutes in traffic, but I love my commute. I hate driving guys. And this is the rear entrance to the salon suites where I work. It's such a blessing. They left it open for us. All we have to do is use our key fobs to get the entry to the building and we can access all of our tools and everything, whatever we might need to pick up. Hey, I stunt with this right here. Whenever the customers see that you gotta enter in the code to get in the door, like they love it. This place is so upscale, it's amazing. But welcome to Deadstock Barbershop. That's my shop, I'm a one-man barbershop and I plan on growing it to a full-size shop one day. But this is just a quick little view of the shop, Michael Jordan thing. This is our room that we got to clean up. So me and my son are about to transform it. So he's looking like he's working. He has mastered the craft of looking busy. If y'all just watch him, he's really not doing anything. Like he's playing with a few things the whole time and I'm doing the whole room basically by myself. Everything he took out of that box, I had to put back in. But it's, it was nice to work with him, so. Y'all enjoy that transformation, setting up a shop. I got the essentials. I got my my sprays, my Beam XL cordless compressor. Gotta have the Amazon for the music. And I try to put them lights up, but it wouldn't stick to my wall for some reason. So putting the fish and it touches right here. It's that zest, she go, no, she must flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, what's going on? Got my youngster with me. Little, little Mr. Mini Weather, JR. This is Christopher Jr. Say hi. Hi. He is your everyday average teenager. All he want to do is play uh, Fortnite. Uh, Not Fortnite. What y'all playing? Apex Legends uh, and Call of Duty and Brawlhalla. So right now, as you can see, it's been a long time since he got a haircut, even before we went on quarantine. So what we about to do now is get him right. He's keeping all of this, but what we're gonna do, let me turn it to the side. Right now we're just gonna give him a, a drop fade. We're gonna go bald, a bald drop fade. And we're gonna preserve this, try to keep some darkness in here so you can see a, um, a pronounced fade. We're not gonna go too low. So we'll probably cut it down with like a one with the grain or something like that. So first thing we're gonna do, I got me a comb and I got me a brush. Before I get the brush in, we're gonna comb. I'm trying to, uh, I'm cutting with the grains because I want to leave it a little on the darker side. So one close. Making sure I'm not cutting into the bulk of his hair. I'm 
boy got a few waves in here, even though he ain't had no haircut and he sure ain't been brushing none. For my trimmers right here. Now I'm gonna go about half, I'll put it on halfway, and I'm gonna go right up below that. I'm gonna go quarter of the way, and I'm gonna hit at this bottom line. too far. Close a little more and I'm just working corners. Push it up a little bit from what I normally do. This is closed right here all the way. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my purple one guard on my masters again. I'm going to close it up and I'm going to cut against the grain. I'm going up about another inch, or about the width of my finger. This is my seniors, all the way open, no guard. And this time, I'm just going to use my use my corners, and I'm going to kind of rake with it. So raking. So typically, when we're fading, you know, we're like this, right? Let me show you from the side. So when I say raking. I'm coming up off of the head with the clippers. If you can see that right there, look at those teeth. That's all that'll be touching it. So as you raise the lever, the level of the clipper up, the clipper body, you're creating a longer distance, a longer length. So I was able to skip a whole guard by just using these corners. Like I said, I'm raking. I'm not flat. I'm raking. As I lower, I can go. I can go closer to the head because that's closer to this length that I was initially at. And by me doing this, I can, like I said, I can preserve the darkness on the fade, and I'm also not raising the fade up. Too much more than what I want it to be. So now I got my my one guard and I'm all the way open this time. Now you can see the one closed and the one open are blending together. Simple technique corners on the master. And another thing I like to do flip the clippers over and just rake down. And if I see anything, flip them over, lighten that up. For the sake of time and not making this video too long, I'm gonna bypass showing these steps on the right side. It's the same exact steps that you did on the left. You're gonna do it again on the right. So with this step right here, what I'm doing, I'm just detailing. I'm looking for any places that may be darker or heavier um, than others, and I'm just blending them out. And I'm just making sure that the transition is smooth for my fade. I like to have stretch fades. I don't like it to be too compact and dark. So this is what I do to make sure that I have that look. All right, so right here, what I do, I'm gonna cut these lines. It's, uh edge up down 
That way it can last longer. And edge it up, it won't curl back up on it. So whenever I'm doing my edge ups, I typically start from the middle, especially if you guys are haven't been barbering as long, you definitely wanna have a center point where you can start from and you just work your way out side to side. With him, my son, he doesn't like to hold his head up straight. He, I have to pull him, you'll see me adjust his head. And when I'm trying to pull him one way, he'll like to look the other way. And you just wanna make sure that you have them comfortable for you and so that you can see. Hitting that C cup, you know, I'll start that one point right there and then I'll just start my next point and then you just connect them and you go all the way around and you just make sure that it's crispy, it's line, it's sharp. Man, that's, that's the part that people recognize. A lot of people don't know what they're looking for when they're seeing a fade, but they always can recognize a sharp, crispy edge up that don't look crazy, ain't super pushed back or anything like that. We are professionals. A lot of people's hair, if you want that straight line, you're gonna have to take it up a little bit. So I know some guys are scared to give them that lineup, but this is what they want. And you have to give people what they want, the look that they want, the look that they desire, and the look that you want them to have. I take pride in my work. I wanna make sure that everything that I do, it stands out. If not to them, it does to me. I feel like a lot of my customers, they come to me because they can see that I'm passionate about what I do, but a lot of them don't even know exactly how blessed they are. <laughs> you know, they some people take it for granted. You know, we, we give them these really good haircuts and they don't really know the level of detail that you just put into their work until they go somewhere else and they don't receive that same type of treatment or that same service that you always produce for them and one thing that i do know that my customers appreciate in me is that they're going to get the same haircut next time the time after that the time after that is consistency you want to make sure that you're very consistent in what you're doing so right there what i was doing i was brushing the hair up out of his way i've already edged him up and so now since i'm going to add enhancements the spray I brush his hair back, brush it away from the edge up. So that way we get the spray up under and onto the scalp directly, not just on top of the hair. This will make sure that it lasts longer. And I'm using the Deadly Combo, the Beam Team Cordless XL Compressor with the Shine Cuts Hair Color Card. Man, if you guys don't have either of these, you definitely need to add it to your arsenal. Whenever you're doing your enhancements, it, make it, it makes it much easier, much simpler to use, and you can't mess up. Just make sure after the video, you guys go over to tune45.com, get your Beam Team cordless compressor, as well as head to SeanCutsHair.com and get your color cards, guys. You will not regret your purchase, I promise you. So one thing that I like to do when I'm done spraying the color enhancement, I'll brush the hairline back down and I'll apply fibers. You do not have to do this. You don't have to do any of those options, but if you are looking to use enhancements, this is something that you can add to your arsenal. It just makes the haircut that much better. My fiber of choice is a brand called Folic Tech that you can purchase off of eBay. You might spend $17 for 100 grams versus Topic, you'll spend $30 for like 20 grams. And this is the Gotta Be Glue holding spray, which will give him a pretty good hold on this. He doesn't have to worry about anything coming out. And I'll follow that up with the blow dryer just to make sure that it's all set in. And I'm using that blow dryer on the cool setting. You don't want him to be warm or sweaty or anything like that. Now I'm just putting the finishing touches once I applied the products, the enhancements, and I'm just sharpening that edge of getting that line nice and crispy. It's gonna really make it stand out and pop once I hit it again with these trimmers. And man, this the people will know the difference. Normally my son does not get all this stuff, but like I said, I haven't cut hair in almost a month. So I told him I was just gonna go all out and just hit him with all the products and everything just to get them crispy. 
So here's the cut. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Please, if you enjoyed it, come back for more. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this cut in the comment section. Thank you and God bless. Anything you want to say to the people out there? Say something, man. Have a nice day. Have a nice rest of your day. Hey, enjoy the rest of your day. My boy's so polite. I love this kid. All right. Peace.